I'd like to go back in time to my great-grandfather's time. In 1868, he signed the Fort Laramie Treaty of 1868. And from that time on, he had to live out his life on the northeast corner of our reservation. And then they could no longer hunt and feed their families with their teoshbae. And if the, he left the reservation without a, a written pass, he would have been shot as a hostile. So he had to live in the northeast corner of our reservation and provide for his family. But the federal government then gave them rations. And so he had to stand in line to get rations for his family, his Tioshpe. And their diet changed at that time. And I, I believe that they were healthy people before that. They were active, they were hunters, gatherers. And then when they were confined to the area where they lived, they could no longer hunt and do for their families like they used to do. And I saw in a Timberlake um, museum a log where his name was listed as one of the ones who received rations. And to me, that would be very humiliating for him to know that he could no longer provide for his family, but had to stand in line for rations for his people. And their diet changed at that time. It became different. And I attribute that to the onset of uh, diabetes that we have today. And looking at the youth today, we have less active youth. There are more overweight, and their diet has changed. They're drinking more pop and sugary things, um, candy, uh, pop mostly is quite prevalent. And I just think that uh, proportions, portion sizes make a difference too. So I think all of that contributes to our youth diabetes and uh, diabetes in the adults as well. Wa <laughs> kha 